Yes, this is Hillsdale, popularly known as the heart of the San Francisco Peninsula. It is composed of some of the nation's great department stores, many of the leading national chain stores, and important local merchandising names. The 50-acre center is bounded on the south by a large, bustling Sears Roebuck store, on the north by the unique Farmer's Market. The Central Mall is flanked by a well-balanced selection of retail stores in every field and price bracket, which provides all customers with the most complete comparative shopping in the entire area. And there is plenty of free parking, over 5,000 individual parking spaces. Seventy-six fine stores in all at the present time, which will expand to approximately 100. The major department store in the center is the magnificent three-story Macy operation. One of the gayest attractions at Hillsdale is the fabulous Farmer's Market, which draws throngs of people day and night for dining and food shopping. The outstanding feature of the Farmer's Market is the fact that each of the 22 departments is run by a specialist in his particular field. The colorful dining patio is surrounded by a most unique and diversified collection of convenient stands, offering a complete selection of American and foreign foods. There is everything from a mouth-watering smokehouse and typical American barbecue stand to Chinese and Spanish foods, along with all the popular Italian dishes. The other departments in this huge market flank the central aisle and offer every type and description of food from all over the world. Each type of food is handled by a separate concessionaire who is a specialist in buying and preparing these edibles to suit the most particular gourmet. The personal service of the Farmer's Market Meat Department is one of its greatest attractions, with extensive cutting rooms and a staff of expert butchers to serve the finest of meats. The expansive produce department offers a choice selection of the freshest grown fruits and vegetables available. Of course, the mainstay of any food operation is the grocery department. And the farmer's market boasts one of the most modern and complete departments of this kind in the area. All in all, Hillsdale's unique farmer's market is the most diversified food market in Northern California. And now let's see just how shopping can be fun, real fun, at this modern and convenient shopping center. Hillsdale's first spring season featured a colorful blossom festival, a blending of high fashion and beautiful flowers. The mall was elaborately decorated in fresh cut blossoms and the landscaped area was in full bloom with seasonal flowers. The exciting Easter season featured many special activities that were planned to entertain the youngsters and to give mother a little more freedom for her shopping. The giant Easter basket on the mall was the temporary home of Mr. and Mrs. Easter Bunny who hosted many television stars to the delight of crowds of happy children.
annual automobile show was launched with a horseless carriage caravan, intermingling the cars of yesteryear with a full showing of 1956 models. These cars paraded the entire peninsula area and returned to be on display for 10 days on the mall. conjunction with the latest in automobile design and color, all of the center's retailing clothing stores joined forces to put on Hillsdale's first spring fashion show, featuring the latest attire for the entire family. Lovely Moana, popular television star of the Harry Owens Show, was the queen of our Armed Forces Day celebration. On behalf of Hillsdale, Moana visited Army, Navy, and other military installations for several days. The climax of this event was her appearance at Hillsdale, dancing for an amateur photographer's contest which was held in conjunction with the opening of a new photo shop on the mall. the spectacular 16-day travel and vacation show, providing fun for everyone. The mall was literally covered with cabin cruisers, outboards, station wagons, house trailers, camping equipment of all types. Even an airplane. The enthusiastic public response and attendance at this show assured its continued success as an annual event. It also provided an excellent opportunity for the retailers to merchandise to the coming vacation season. One of the highlights of the show was the fishing pond, where young and old alike tried their hand at catching big, beautiful rainbow trout. An archery contest was just one of the many special events during the travel show. Trophies and prizes were awarded not only to the archers, but to judo wrestlers, international folk dancers, and many others. Ringling and the other big tops folded in 1956, but Hillsdale brought the circus back to life with a big midsummer carnival. Thousands of eager children mobbed the Hillsdale big top on the mall to enjoy the antics of the clowns and the tricks of the animals. The shows were rounded out with watermelon and pie-eating contests, prizes, balloons, and all the typical carnival activities. The gay circus theme was carried into illuminated carousel decorations, and all stores enthusiastically tied in with a carnival spirit. Dad's a Doll was our theme, and the children of the Hillsdale area performed a complete operetta as a salute to Dad on his day.
Beniamino Bufano, one of the world's greatest contemporary sculptors, was commissioned to do a series of 11 animal statues for permanent display on the Hillsdale Mall. With untiring effort and countless hours, Benny sawed, chiseled, inlaid, and polished a tremendous redwood burl into a magnificent owl statue as the key figure in this display. The plan was part of a basic concept by Hillsdale developer David Bohannon to integrate an artistic and cultural atmosphere in a commercial area, to bring fine art out where the most people can see and enjoy it. Developer Bohannon and California's Lieutenant Governor Powers were on hand with some 4,000 people, art critics, and the press for the unveiling ceremonies of Benny Bufano's magnificent statues. Benny is world famous for his animal sculpturing, especially renowned for his cats, and his love of animals and youngsters is obvious. The famous statues of St. Francis in Bufano's works are highlighted by this massive granite figure of the saint on horseback. Looking like some modern guided missile, here is the tremendous penguin and her babes. At the end of the long day of unveiling, the diminutive artist proudly scans his works and is shown here with his black granite bear and cubs, his red granite seal, The magnificent owl, the entire collection is heralded as an artistic addition to a beautiful shopping center. One of the highlights of the fall season was a full-scale flower festival. With the cooperation of the local garden editor and garden clubs from all over the county, a formal flower show was held, judged, prized, and received national recognition. The highlight of this week-long event was a style show featuring hats made of flowers, an exciting project of the club members. There was a special trophy in this class awarded to the winner by Miss California herself. The success of Hillsdale's Spring Auto Show prompted the car dealers and the merchants to request another show in the fall. Held in early November, Hillsdale's Auto Show was actually the first complete presentation of 1957 models in the entire country. The increased traffic built our total attendance over a 10-day period to some 300,000 people. Everyone seems to love new automobiles, young and old alike and the show was a huge success for the shopping center as well as for the dealers. Christmas 1956 saw Hillsdale converted into a veritable wonderland of lights. The giant 50-foot tree of lights on the face of the Macy building was the focal point from the highway. Giant evergreens were colorfully decorated in various areas throughout the center. The entire center has the warm feeling of a real old-fashioned Christmas. The store windows and mall areas were completely decorated and flooded with over five miles of lights. Highlight of the children's attractions was the giant toy land on the mall. The biggest toys in the whole wide world, we called them. Fifteen of these huge animated toys were placed from one end of the mall to the other. Each one had a separate Christmas message for the children and would talk or sing at the touch of a button. This giant toy land, of course, was the feature of Hillsdale's Christmas advertising. And 30-foot replicas of the toy giraffe were used as cutouts on the spectacular billboards leading to the center. Yes.
Yes, it really pays to advertise. Traffic building promotions like merchandising must be sold to the public. To back up the foregoing Hillsdale promotions, all advertising media were used. These are a few of the feature newspaper advertisements from the various campaigns where large space and generous color proved very effective. Experience has proven that small announcement ads will not build great surges of traffic. The newspaper presentation of a worthwhile promotion must be in keeping with the size and scope of the promotion itself. The ultimate success of increased volume of business from traffic building activities is dependent, of course, on the active merchandising to promotions by the merchants. They've got to get behind it to get the most out of it. The traffic building promotions were tied together with a continuous institutional advertising campaign using all of the various media. Small, continual newspaper space has proven very worthwhile when run in conjunction with radio and TV and selective showings of spectacular highway billboards. These promotions and special events provided a continuous flow of publicity pictures and stories in newspapers, magazines, radio and television. Yes, shopping is fun at Hillsdale. And because it is, we believe that people have come to know us in more ways than one as the heart of the peninsula.